Hi everyone, it's Karen here. Welcome to another video with me and Lavinia Stamps. And the theme for the creative challenge this month is a touch of sparkle. So I hope the camera is picking up this lovely sparkle, which I created with this fabulous holographic glitter. It's wonderful. Look at those lovely large flakes of glitter. So I put it on her wings and in and around the wreath flourish right and the wreath flourish left. I've also popped a bit down here amidst this stamp, which is called Mystic Swirl. I have used one colour throughout this entire design, and that is my favourite colour of all time, which is Blueprint Sketch. You can see it's well used. This is in Distress Oxides, but you know what? This will work any of your favourite colours. So... I've done the stamping in Twilight, that's a Versafine Clear Twilight, and the size card that I'm using is 10 centimetres by 21 centimetres, and then I've just double mounted it on some white card and some dark blue card, which matches my blueprint sketch. So we get started. So here's my card, and the first thing that I'm gonna do is I am gonna do the embossing. So I'm going to emboss first, this one, then this one, then my Mystic Swirl at the bottom, and then we'll put the rest of the embellishments around the card. So I'm going to start by using my lovely little um, pad, which is full of ink, French chalk, to get rid of any marks or any oil that I've transferred from my fingers onto the card. I'm just going to flick that off and then we're going to get started so I'm going to pop the first one like that and then the next one onto it so I'm going to be using my embossing pad tap 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 and I'm going to pop that down like that swap it over to the left one and do the same because you can see where it's come to there so I'm just going to join them together and then I'm going to put my embossing powder on it I'm going to heat emboss that then I'm going to do my mystic swirl at the bottom and I'll come back to you
So here you can see that we've embossed the flourishes and the mystic swirl at the bottom. And now we're going to create the colour over the top. I am going to use a piece of acetate which just will protect my card here. I'm going to take my smoothie first and I'm just gently going to go in a circular motion around the edge of the card here. I'm going to come in a bit darker at the bottom. And I keep these circles that I'm moving here quite small. That way you don't get any scratching or pulling or uneven colour. So you can see that's very even all the way across. And I'm just going to go all the way around the edge of the card. As you can see, I've come a bit higher over the Mystic Swirl, and that's because I just want that to be visible. And you can see darker at the bottom. There you go, lovely. And then I'm going to go all the way around the edge. I'm going to come again darker in this corner, darker in the right hand corner, and then all the way around the edge. So there we've gone round the edge beautifully. And now I'm going to take my lovely blending brush. This is the larger size. And I am going to go down the centre so that I can accentuate this lovely flourish and it will make it stand out. I prefer to do this with my stencil brush as you've got a bit more control and I really want this to be really light around my flourish. So following the line of that flourish, you can see it's starting to come through now. So there you've got this lovely soft blue glow in and around that flourish. And now I'm going to create some texture around my border and to do that I want to protect the centerpiece because I don't want any water splatters or paint splatters down this center. So I'm just gonna tear randomly. Something like that. You don't want it to cut it because you want to make sure that the edges are a bit rough now I'm going to create two splatters around the edge. I'm going to create water splatters and then I'm going to put some paint splatters on it. So I'm just going to put a bit of water. My goodness, my mat was dirty. That is not going to be good because we don't want red. That was what I was using before. We don't want red on this lovely blue card. And you can see how well loved and well used my Lavinia mat is. It's a silicon mat and you can see we can use the lines for measuring. It takes all sorts of abuse in terms of paint, water, ink. Now, I really don't know what happened there. I'm really sorry, but my iPhone storage got full. It's all these lovely videos that we do. But let me just pick up from where I left off, which was me covering the centre so that we can create some of these lovely splatters around the edge. To do that, I just popped a tiny puddle of water onto my mat and then 
I tapped around the edge, tapping it with my fan brush, with my stencil brush, loosely creating these water splatters. Then I dabbed them off to get this lovely texture in the background. Then, still with my mask in place, I used this lovely white gouache paint, put a tiny bit onto my mat, watered it down so that it runs really nice fluidly. And then again, using my stencil brush, splattered it around the edge. That gives us this lovely texture around the edge. And then using my Twilight Versafine Claire, I love to use this because it gives me a nice crisp image. I stamped the gorgeous little Everly Fairy. Look at the detail in her. You can actually even see her eyelashes. That is incredible detail that Tracy's given for us. So now your card is dry. I'm going to use my quickie glue pen with my holographic glitter. And I am just going to dot tiny bits of glue in and around these flourishes. You can see how quickly I'm doing this, not overthinking it, so it doesn't matter if they're not symmetrical. There we go. And then I'm going to use this wonderful, wonderful glue glitter. Look at that. How sparkly is that? And then you get these lovely little sparkles all around your flourish. I am also going to dot her wings. Now, because this glitter is relatively coarse, you want to make sure that you leave some gaps in between your dots. Otherwise, her wings are just going to look like a solid block of glitter. Lovely. I'll clear that off in a minute. And then I'm going to do the same in amongst this mystic swirl. And there you have it. A touch, well, more than a touch, but that's all right. A touch of sparkle for January. Thanks so much for watching. I'd love to see what you make. So if you do, please tag me because I'd love to see you then. And I'll be back again really soon. Bye for now.